and welcome back everybody MTG singles gate cash gate crash three of three so if you haven't watched the first two videos go back and watch those first so you get an idea of what we got before so we first box we did get a watery grave second box we did get a breeding pool so two shock lands total um, pretty much misses on the foils except for one rare uh, was decent and um, did okay on the mythics last box got two nice mythics so it wasn't complete dumpster fire i did verify i paid about 70 bucks each for these boxes so i don't think any of them are winners yet so let's have our first and last winner right here all right so we'll skip past our commons and there's no commons or uncommons or regulars that we're pulling out, non foils. And our first rare is a decent one, the bracers again. So double tap on that. Um, it's about a four or five dollar rare. So again, not, not that many uh, non foil cards in this set that are worth more than three bucks. So you get one in the first pack like that, it's nice. And it's a rare, so it's not like it wastes like a you know, mythic splot or something like that. Dual Mage and a Primordial. All right, back to reality. Oops. All right. So this um, this box set has been uh, it's been a fun opening. Um, you know, like I said, a little break from the other ones we've been doing. High Priest of Penance. We do have a foil though. And it is a swamp. All right. So we did get one foil basic land in each box. As of the time of this, I don't know if they're worth anything. Um, but it does seem like you do get one a box. There's the Timmy Street Market. Where all the Timmies go to buy boxes of Gate Crash and open them for a loss. Ursula's Eviction, $3 rare. Um, so we will pull that. Uh, we did get the Lord of the Void last um, box as well. So that was it was a decent box. It wasn't a dumpster fire, especially with the breeding pool at the end. Um, that saved it from being a dumpster fire, I think. And Under City Plague. Everybody have their Commander 19 sets nice and stored. Another Timmy Street Market uh, for long term. I uh, I ordered two, the max I could get from Rudy over at Alpha Investments, and uh, have no intention on opening them. Tempted after seeing that one misprint box going for over 20 grand. Uh, if you didn't see that, um, they printed the fronts on the backs. And the whole the whole set was like a oh, our first shock land stomping ground. So we didn't have to wait too long for that one. Nice little eleven dollar card. Our first shock land. Let's see if we can get more than one this time. In a box. So so we've gotten the breeding pool, the water grave, the stomping ground. Um, we still need the secret foundry or the godless shrine. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get a, a second one. Stolen identity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, sometimes they want to open, sometimes they don't. So nice to see the shock line up top because then we can hope for a second one. And then of course probably just get disappointed when a second one doesn't uh, We've been getting this card a lot. I think that's our fourth or fifth Legion Loyalist. It is a nice four or five dollar card. So I won't complain. Um, so we got four pulls already. Not to mention if the, the basic land foil is worth anything, which I don't think it is, but 
four pulls already and we're not even a third of the way through yet. So our first mythic, the Prime Speaker Zignaga is Zignana. And that is a at a complete miss of four dollars. So one mythic. So not a miss. And really, you know, the top mythic is only worth uh, you know, seven bucks or so. So the difference between the four dollar mythic and the seven dollar mythic is not that much. So won't complain when we get one that's worth over three bucks, I guess. It's not like getting a cast dissonant mage versus a, a Ren and Six, like in Modern Horizons. There's not a big thing there. Glaring Spotlight, um, rare artifact, and we do have a common foil centaur. A couple artifacts worth some money, um, like the bracers up there. Yeah, there's not there's not like a card that you're gonna get in this set, and it just you know make your week or something like that. Realm right. I haven't seen that card yet. First one in three boxes. Um, of course, if you even even the the foil shock lands are you know in in the twenty dollar range, uh, twenty twenty five dollars. So even the you know. The best card in the set is not going to rate you a whole lot, which is also why the boxes are relatively cheap. Phantom Mage and a Dying Wish. That's a beautiful card. Um, so that is an uncommon. Um, I don't think it's going to be worth anything, but we'll verify. So one third of the way through. No foil rares yet. One Mythic. One Shockland. And we did get an ooze flux again, unfortunately. Ooze. Yeah, I've seen with the recent bannings and unbannings, very good uptick in a lot of Modern Horizons cards, uh, including the Swords of Sinu and the Swords of Truth. Simic Manipulator. So, let's see if we can get a, uh, a second shock land in the same box. I've seen it in our videos, so I know it's possible. Goliath is not going to do it for us. Folk of the Depths. And our second Mythic. Um, so we did get this last box. It's a good one to get. $6, $7 Mythic. Uh, the War or uh, Aurelia the War Leader. So two Mythics, two decent Mythics. One Shock Lad. No foil rares yet. Can't we get a foil? Timmy Street Market. Tim. Timmy. Um, get that foil uh, shock land. That would be so awesome. Yeah, I mean, I got I get cards all day long that are worth more than a foil shock land would be. But it'd just be cool to have in the collection because I don't have any. Um, illness in the ranks and biovisionary. I think that's the first time we might have seen that one too. Could be wrong. All right, so we're about halfway through the box. Um, I, for halfway through, we're doing really good. Um, if the second half matches the first half, uh, we will have ourselves a winner. And. Angelic Skirmisher with the Riot Gear common foil. So we're still due two foil rares. Again, 
be nice if one of them is a shock line. Be nice if both of them are good. All right, first striker and the fire main avenger. So no good. Scarg and Thespian Stage. You always get fooled when you see a, a rare land in this set and then you see that it's not multicolor. And the Alms Beast, that is our foil rare. Uh, Alms Beast, I don't think that's a I don't think that's a hit. So um, not a good foil rare. We should still have one more. Um, Hopefully we didn't spend all of our load in the first half of that box though. Hopefully we still got some nice hits. Crypt Gasp. That's actually a good rare. Five dollar rare. Um, no complaints about that one. So, we did break the little dry spell there. That's our first Crypt Gasp in three boxes too. And oh, interesting um, looking mythic is about a three dollar mythic, so not a miss. Um, but the coloring on it reminds me a lot of the Ren and Six and a Foundry Steep Denizen foil right after it. Common, all right. So, last third. So, we did get a Crypt Gasp and then a okay mythic. Anything over three bucks is okay in this set. Um, we're on our way to maybe having our first winning box out of these three. The Boros Charm, the foil version of that's actually worth a little bit. And the Treasury Thole with a Vampire Spy common. That's the uh, first treasury uh, roll that we've seen as well in three boxes. All right. So, hoping to get that second shock land. Be nice. Death Pact Angel. Uh, I'm not expecting it. So, if it comes. Prepare for rowdiness and excitement. That's the I think the third aerial maneuver we've seen opening up a pack, including just the last pack right before that. And soul ransom. Come on, let's, let's, we haven't gotten anything in this last third yet. Let's see if we can change that right now. We didn't get my uh, blind obedience. We didn't get my little uncommon lady, the, uh, the alley broker. One of my new favorite cards after these box openings. Charm, Hinder Vines, and we have our um, our fourth mythic. Yeah, fourth mythic. Um, Duskmaster is not a hit, unfortunately. So that is, um, we got four mythics, and I guess we can't complain. Three of them were over three bucks. That's the only one not over three bucks yet. Focus there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's my lady. And she gives us another myth. Or no, that's not a mythic. Sorry. Um, it's just a rare. The Boros a Reckoner. Now, I um, don't think we've gotten this card before. But also, I don't think it's a hit either. So our lady let us down there. Mm. 
Yeah, that's not a not a hit. All right, and immortal servitude, forever serving. And we have about five packs left. So we got that shock land right away. And we should still get a second foil rare. And oh! <laughs> well, there we go. We got our uh, second shock land and it's the breeding pool. So we got two two boxes out of three with the breeding pool. Very nice. Very nice. So yeah, that's um, another $16, $17 added to our value here. I think we're gonna make our 70. Um, and we still have one more foil rare to go too. Can we get a third shock land? Would that be crazy? Clan Defiance. So three packs left. We should have a foil rare in one of these three. But can we get a third shock land? And oh. <laughs> wow, what a box! We got our third Shockland, Sacred Foundry, at about $9. Very nice, three Shocklands. Can we get four? We got two packs left. We should have also have a foil rare. What if we get a, what if we get a foil Shockland? Wouldn't that be nuts? Assemble the Legion and 1,000 Lashes, but that is a uncommon, um, not a uh, rare. So does this last pack have our second elusive rare? Um, we have, let me just make sure, we just got one, yeah, just the one foil rare. But we did get three shock lamps in this box. Can we get four? All right, let's see. And, nope. But, um, and no second foil rare, so very interesting there. But, um, we did get our nice uh, three shock lands here. So that'll make a nice little uh, thumbnail, I think. Well, I hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, going through this gate crash, uh, three boxes. Uh, it was definitely fun. And like I said, a little break from the other sets we're doing. Um, got some more Ultimate Masters coming though too, so sit back, subscribe, and watch, and enjoy. MTG Singles, out.